So is having specific goals set for your voiceover career in 2015 a good thing? Uh, we'll talk about it next on this week's Dewey's Directive. First of all, just want to say a big shout out of congratulations to my boys from my home state, the Buckeye State, Ohio State national champions. So last night, or actually I'm recording this on Tuesday. So Monday night, a big night here at the Dewey's household. Even though we live in Illinois, we are and always will, will remain Buckeyes at heart. So go Bucks. Now, with that being said, let's move on to the topic for this week. Is having goals, specific goal set for yourself in 2015 for your voiceover career, is it a good thing? Uh, I want to challenge conventional wisdom, or at least commonly held beliefs in this video. And please understand that I am and always have been a very goal-oriented person. Uh, I'm not a person who takes on life passively. I've always had a sense of what I wanted, what I wanted to accomplish, and I've held myself to a pretty high standard, I would say, you know, throughout my life. Um, you may have heard of SMART goals, SMART being an acronym, S-M-A-R-T, standing for, let's see, I actually had to look up this, look this up online because I couldn't remember. It is um, specific measurable, achievable, and time-bound. I think I hit them all. So uh, the idea of SMART being that there is, there, there, it's quantifiable, it's results-oriented. As a matter of fact, I think I left out the R, which is results-oriented. So you have a result, a specific time frame, and a specific number in mind, and you reach for that based on the criteria you know, the, the objective that you set. I understand that. I get that. And there's, there's a real argument that can be made for the idea of having a goal so that you don't just passively drift through life, but you have some sense of accountability for what you're doing. The problem with this is, is this, and I say this from my own experience as well as working with many others, that having goals that you become very married to that you say, okay, for 2015, I'm going to accomplish A, B, C, and this is the exact time frame that I'm going to accomplish it by. And if that doesn't happen, which often is the case, then you perceive that you're a failure and then you give up and move on to the next thing. Keep this in mind. There are many things, not just in voiceovers, but in life that are out of our control. And what I want to encourage you to do in 2015 is to focus on process over results and outcome. And this may go against everything that you believe, but let me just challenge you and challenge your thinking for just a moment. Focus on process, not results. I know some of the greatest achievements in my life have happened when I've let go of the outcome and begun to work on what I know that I need to work on now and take advantage of opportunities as they come to me. Oftentimes when we become so future focused, we miss some of the wonderful opportunities that come to us in the moment. And we become discouraged in the process when we don't hit these milestones, these, these very quantifiable objectives that we, that we set for ourselves within the time frame that we set it. Again, there's a lot we don't have control over. We don't have specific control over when we will achieve X number of dollars, when we will achieve this job or that job, uh, you know, let, let's say, for instance, that your goal is to record for Disney. And so that this year that, you know, that's your big goal. Well, you know, that that may happen. It may not happen. It took me many years before I was able to work for Disney. And had that been one of my initial goals and I didn't hit it in year one, two, three or five, then I would I would have become very discouraged and maybe quit. And I see most people who begin this journey of voiceover actually end up just abandoning it because what they expected to happen didn't happen. So again, let me encourage you to do this. Focus on what you need to do. What do you have control over? Learning, training. You have control over that process of developing your skill set. The marketing of you and your business, you have control over that. The number of auditions that you do, you have more control over that than you do a set dollar figure at the end of the year. And this I will guarantee you, as you begin to focus on the process and do the things that you know are necessary, the daily disciplines that are necessary to be successful, the results will begin to come. 
They may or may not come in the time frame that you want, but what will happen is with this adjusted mindset, your expectations won't be continually be disappointed. Uh, and you'll begin to enjoy the journey and you'll enjoy the growth process and the learning process. It will become much more fun for you. It will become much more enjoyable. And eventually you'll become much more successful because you won't become discouraged and fall away and begin to do something else because you get because you become disappointed in your results. I hope you find this helpful and I hope you don't find it to be frustrating because again, I know, you know, so oftentimes we're told they have to be measurable and they have to be on a time frame. And I'm telling you to, to really abandon that thinking for the process. As you focus on the process in 2015, you will find yourself growing and moving in the right direction. You will find encouragement in that. You will become motivated to continue to move on. It will become an upward cycle of, of success. So again, focus on the process and allow the results to come naturally. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. And just a quick reminder, I'll be in Las Vegas in February, February 7th and 8th for my VoiceOver Revolution event. I hope you'll be there. Uh, we're going to teach you everything you need to know to have a successful career in 2015. And you can find out more and register at voiceoverrevolutionevent.com. I'll talk to you soon.